Welcome back. 2023 marked our 70th year on your screens. In that time, the area has experienced all kinds of powerful and even destructive weather events. Now, as the year comes to a close, Chief Meteorologist Aubrey Urbanowitz gives us a look back at those events in the final installment of 70 Years of Weather. We're continuing our series on 70 years of weather since WHSV aired in 1953, and tonight we start with a deadly tornado in 1990. Over the decades, our viewing area has experienced dozens of tornadoes, but the tornado that struck Augusta Springs in May of 1990, it's the only deadly tornado in our recorded history. There's no warning of any scan. We were about two to three years away from having the Doppler radar. That tornado tore a path of destruction from Augusta Springs to Swope. Ten people were injured and two were killed. A reminder that tornadoes do happen in the mountains. In 1993, a massive blizzard in March. But 1996 is one of the wettest years on record, and it started with the January blizzard. Melting snow and heavy rain led to widespread flooding, and then the rain didn't stop. Then, a catastrophe in the fall. In the heart of harvest season, a hurricane. Hurricane Fran devastated the area. Hundreds were rescued from the floodwaters. On these roofs are where a number of residents escaped from the rising waters last night, waiting hours for rescue. Farmers were devastated by the severe crop loss. It's starting to mold already. Another snow and ice storm in February 1998. There were power outages and there was some damage, but this storm led to significant damage at the Shenandoah National Park, where the ice was up to five inches thick in some places. Tens of thousands of trees were damaged or destroyed. It was one of the most significant droughts in our history, the drought of 1998 and 1999. Today, a wheat field in Bridgewater spontaneously caught on fire. And in 1999, it was also an excessively hot summer with highs over 100 degrees for at least four days. Our groundwater is basically non-existent. Uh, ponds have been drying up. The water table was critically low. Agriculture loss extensive across the area. Hurricane Isabel in September 2003. This brought significant rainfall into the region. It was a fast moving storm, meaning the winds were also high. Firefighters say the wind has caused power lines to go down all across the county. Significant flooding occurred, especially in Augusta County, where Sharando picked up 20 inches of rain. There were many downed trees and several deaths in the area. One of the snowiest winters in history, and this all started with a snowstorm in December 2009, followed by multiple snowstorms into February of 2010. The weight of the snow just too much for many roofs. Awful, awful. It just devastating us. An extremely rare occurrence. The end of April 2011, one of the biggest tornado outbreaks in the history of the country. In our area, five tornadoes in the overnight hours between midnight and 4 a.m. We really don't know where to start, but uh, we appreciate everybody's uh, offering to help. One of those tornadoes traveled 33 miles between Rockingham and Shenandoah counties. Thankfully, there were only two injuries. You could hear the trees breaking, just like something was just coming through like a bulldozer, just pushing them down. Later that year, another rare event, the Great Virginia Earthquake. August 23, 2011, a 5.8 magnitude earthquake centered in Mineral, Virginia. That quake shook the entire area. We've seen the falling cabinets start shaking, and it was, it was like a really surreal, weird feeling, and we at first didn't know what was going on. Damage was thankfully minor, but it's an event that many still talk about. Another rare event that same year, the October snow. Just before Halloween on October 29, 2011, it was a heavy wet snow that blanketed the area. Because of the leaves still on the trees, this led to many large branches that were downed and thousands of power outages in this early season snow. At least this October snow was in the forecast. And here's the leading edge of the clouds. And one of the biggest, most widespread storms led to hundreds of thousands of power outages. And you could see debris and stuff going across the road. The derecho, a fast moving complex of thunderstorms, led to nearly an hour of high winds and widespread damage. One of our most recent blizzards, the January 2016 snowstorm. This was the biggest snow event of the season, and this storm dropped two to three feet of snow across the area. 
The rain of 2018. It started in May and didn't stop for the rest of the year. Numerous rounds of thunderstorms led to flooding throughout the summer. Into the fall, Hurricane Florence led to river flooding across the area. 2018 was the third wettest year on record. And from a flood to the ongoing drought. One of the worst droughts in our area and the most significant since at least 2010. The Shenandoah River, nearing the record low stage this summer in 2023. And right now, that drought continues. All that means at the end of the year is just less money left for the farmer. For more information on past weather events and archive footage from WHSV, or if you would like to share your historical photos, head over to the weather section of WHSV.com.